garbage bag ministry. In my 12 years of serving as the Disaster Relief Director of the Florida Baptist Association, that was Hurricanes Andrew through Katrina, uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I don't want to say that I'm suffering from PTSD, but I've seen some pretty bad stuff. But <laughs> there's so much that makes it all worthwhile. Um, aside from the ministry, there's the practical experience I've gained in working with volunteers. I still rely on it every day. You, you see, managing paid staff is relatively easy. Uh, at the end of the day, they either follow directions or they get fired. Not so much with volunteers. You know, from time to time I get asked, you know, what is the highest or lowest uh, memory I have in, uh, in my disaster relief experience. Well, in this post, I want to share with you uh, the highest. First, let me give you some context. Now, the real work in disaster relief is a lot more than the sterile stuff you, you see on TV. You see, long after those cameras are gone and the reporters are gone um, and the waters have receded, uh, we embark on what we call the mud out. Now, it's... Uh, actually more than mud. Uh, it's a combination of mud and salt water, seaweed, dead fish, and uh, yeah, sewage. Now this cocktail has baked inside of a closed house in the hot sun for about a week. And I can tell you when we opened that door to that house, uh, it would gag a maggot, but it still needs to get cleaned up. Well, imagine working uh, in that environment. Then imagine how you would look after you've worked all day cleaning that crap up, literally, yeah, in the heat and humidity. But Baptist women and men come to the rescue. Now, uh, to say that we're nasty when we get back to camp at the end of the day would be an understatement. But you see, that's about to change because we get greeted by a cheerful team of laundry volunteers. Now, they're rigged up with these really cool custom-built trailers. Uh, some are shower trailers, some are laundry trailers, and some are like a combination. Uh, and there's washing machines lined up down one side, and there's dryers lined up down the other. It's really cool. So, after a hot shower, well, it's usually hot, not, not always. Uh, we've got these filthy clothes, and uh, we, we tag them and, and, and then leave them there. And then we retire to a time of worship. They keep it short. They know, they know we're exhausted. And then a debriefing session, um, and then a sleeping bag, usually on a, on a gym floor. So the next morning, uh, the clothes that we dropped off uh, the night before are bagged and tagged with our name, nice and fresh. And uh, that's because those laundry volunteers have been up all night washing our clothes that were previously unfit for anything other than a hazmat unit. You know, God bless them. Yeah, they are the real champions of disaster relief. Yeah, but one day was special. It was different. I want to share this with you because I'll never forget it. You know, somewhere, someone in a Southern Baptist church leading a group of mission friends. Now, what that is, is, is you know, preteen girls. Uh, Google it to find out more. Um, well, the leader got an idea for ministry. Now, it wasn't hard and it wasn't expensive, but it was powerful beyond belief. You know, one day we picked up our bagged and tagged laundry, but something was different. Uh, instead of the usual white kitchen trash bags, our clothes were bagged in well, a, a white kitchen trash bag. But they had been sharpied with these colorful and decidedly feminine um, graffiti. You know, things like, you're our hero. God bless you. We're praying for you. Thank you for your service, and so forth. Every man there broke out into tears. And these are pretty tough guys. 
this was no longer a tired group of men. This was an, ex an inspired group of men. I wish so much that I could find that mission friends group and let them know the impact they had. Well, how about you? You ever feel like, you know, you really can't do anything significant for the kingdom? Um, don't be fooled, you can. Now, you may never know this side of heaven how a simple act of kindness can impact others. Just some ideas. Um, offer the use of a cell phone charger at a hospital waiting room. You know, someone may need it. When you see a veteran, yeah, they wear those hats, caps. When you see that, take a moment and thank them for their service. Or you could, uh, you got one of these? Use it to call an old high school teacher, elementary teacher, coach, and let them know the positive impact they've had on your life. Full armor.